Hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> I, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video and God has answered your prayer. <laughs> <laughs> so finally you're meeting my stepson. And um, the last time he appeared on this channel was when he made a reaction video. Was it a reaction video? No. I I asked you to film your reaction. Yeah, it was like a reaction video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Um, not here. <laughs> not, not inside. <laughs> um, have you been reading everybody's comments? It was positive. They are welcoming I, I, you. I, I scrolled through the comments. I didn't see a single bad comment. You guys are great. Like, thank you so much. So much positive feedback. Uh, it felt good to read, you know, because making that video took, took a long time, and uh, you know, it came from it came from my heart. You know? So, yeah. <laughs> thank you. It's good to see all that positive feedback for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. So, I don't even know what I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, ask anything you want. Bobby, do you have a question? What's for your me? name? How old are you? Okay, that's one. <laughs> so, Marco is going to um, let us know a little bit about himself. So, which was why we came up with this video Get to Know My Stepson. Are you ready? Ready to okay, can you Let's start by introducing yourself to my amazing viewers? So, <laughs> hello, um, those of you who, I feel like some of you already know me, but if you don't know me, my name is Marco, um, Darko is my father, uh, Nurse Glory is my stepmom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not your mate again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm old and enough to be your mom. Ma Ma Majesty, Majesty is, uh, is my beautiful, amazing baby brother, like wow. Oh my goodness. Guys, did you see how they got along? The first time he was shy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then no, for like one hour. Yeah, one hour. and then I went for massage. Darko went for massage. Oh, no, Both of them were left together, and they just clicked. We sang songs. We danced. We listened to music. We watched cartoons. We played with the cars. The connection we were, we were, was. We were hugging each other. Yes, man. Each other, you know, like In fact, yeah. blood is thicker than water. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And he was calling him Bola. Yeah. It's not bro <laughs> brother. Bola, bola. <laughs> Very cute. So, um, how old are you, Marco? <clears throat> I am um, twenty-eight oh. and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live, Marco? Uh, I live in Vietnam, in Hanoi. So, uh, what do you do there? Uh, I'm an English teacher. Mm. Who do you teach? Uh, so I, I teach students aged between four and twelve, mostly. I do, I do, I do work with older students, but um, the majority of them are between four and twelve. <laughs> so how is it like being a teacher to those children, like most especially toddlers and kids? You know, like when I when I. Come, 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 come. So when, when I when I first started teaching, you know, like I wasn't sure. Is this for me? Is this the right job? Am I gonna enjoy it? But after like a year, a year and a half, mm. I mean, I, I really started loving it because, you know, it's like a job with a purpose. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm. So how so, long are you? Have you been teaching? So th three years now. Oh, wow. Three years in total. Three years and a bit. Yeah. How Actually, is th three point five years. Three point five, and you're enjoying it. I love it. It's, it's the best job I've ever done oh. so far. Yeah. I'm happy you are having fun while yeah. teaching me. No, I love it. I love it. So how is life in Vietnam? It's good for sure. Like, um, I mean, apart from the humidity, it's hot. Really? It's humid. You take a shower, straight away you start sweating. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's humid, but apart from that, it's lovely. It's a beautiful country. The people mm. are so nice. Mm. Um, and there's this kind of sense of like anything is possible. Like the Vietnamese are good people. You, you can do anything there you want. Mm. You can organize something, you can like plan things, you can uh, you can uh, you can invite people and everybody will come. Really? Yeah, people are up for an adventure for sure. The, the most important question a lot of young ladies here they want to hear. Are you single or dating? Or in yeah. a relationship? Yes and no and no. Which one is yes and no and no? <laughs> they will know. <laughs> you can rewind. Rewind ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! How does it feel to get to um, meet your, so that's, your, 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 let me say, new family? Or? Yeah, no, no, no. Not family, new? For sure. Family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's a good question. Okay. I mean, like, <clears throat> I mean, first of all, how do you think it feels? You know what I mean? Like, you know, it feels amazing. I mean, like, a couple of years ago, it was lockdown. 
you know, everybody were in their houses, everybody were by themselves. Um, and to come out of lockdown, to come out of this like COVID crisis, like where everybody were just, you know, including me, like stuck inside, you know, like, you know, not, not feeling too good, you know, to come out of this and to come to, I mean, this city and to meet you guys and to meet Majesty for the first time. I mean, it's like, it's the best feeling ever. Oh. For sure, it's the best feeling ever. No doubts. No doubts. <laughs> And for me too is a is the best feeling ever for for uh, have you have you seen a, a family whereby um, the stepchildren don't like their father's wife? Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. But for me, everything just happened like, and the love I'm getting from you, your father, everybody, the family, it's yeah. like wow, no, you know. No. So I feel blessed to get to meet you. For sure. Meeting you for the first time, right? Mm -hmm. We've been talking on. We were met yesterday. <laughs> we met yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so, guys, this is so so amazing. God really loves us, man. Yeah, I believe so too. <laughs> Do you have any words of encouragement for all the young people out there going through some difficult time? Because you know we all have mm -hmm. some time. We have difficulties, right? For sure. And uh -huh. so, do you have some words of encouragement for all the young people out there? I mean, something that I've learned is that um, as bad as things might seem at the moment, there's always a tomorrow, or a next week, or a next year, and there's always a choice that you can make, usually, usually there's always a choice that you can make, that may not impact you straight away, but that, that can impact you tomorrow, next week, next year, and that even if things might seem bad in, the, in a moment, you know, it's 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 guaranteed. It's nearly guaranteed that it's not always going to feel like that. You know, so I mean, it's important to have hope. That's my point. You know, and even if you feel like you don't have hope, you just have to trust the fact that it's a tomorrow or next week. And that that moment is not going to last, no matter yeah. what. It's going to pass. I mean, it, it can it can certainly feel like that badness is going to be there forever. It, it, it does feel like that in the moment. Come, baby. You want to you know? I think he wants to win. Come. Maybe here, maybe here, Majek. He he likes to win in the bathtub. You just place him there and he wins. <laughs> just put him. <laughs> I found a question for you. Like, where did you grow up? You oh, know, yeah, some people yeah. are meeting for the click, first time. Click, click on that link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I clicked on it already, so I'll be asking you this. Okay, okay. So I have a lot of editing to do right but now. But it says 160 questions. I'm not You're asking gonna ask all 160? Of <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, by the time I finish editing it, it will reduce. Where did you grow up? <sighs> Difficult question. I mean, so I grew up in a, in a few places. Um, I was in a few cities in Sweden. I was in Stockholm. That's where I was born. Okay. And then I moved to uh, a university town called Lund. And then, uh, Lund. 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 Oh. No, no, not, not Lund. 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 Yeah, Where yeah, yeah. is it? It's in Sweden. Uh -huh. And then I moved to Malmö, which is also in Sweden. And then I moved, when I was 10 years old, my mom and my stepdad at the time relocated to Ireland, uh -huh. which is um, yeah, Ireland. We, we moved to a city called Galway. That's on the west coast of Ireland. Super beautiful, super nice. And then I moved to Limerick. Wow. And the the, the, the Ireland watching me will be like, wow, I yeah, know this place. Because yeah. the last time they watched your video, yeah. they, they know the way you speak. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Ah, are, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, so I have Irish people watching this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Okay, I don't do. <laughs> I'm one of other places. I have people from Ireland watching me. What did you do for fun as a child? Can you remember? Yeah, of course. Okay, tell I, us. I mean, like, like, child is a very broad category. Like, when I was five, mm. sure, I played with Lego. You know what I mean? Oh. When I was ten, uh, yeah, when I, when, I, when I was, like, ten onwards, music became my whole life. For sure. Like, music, love some, like, some, like, some skateboarding every now and again. Um, yeah, but I, I loved... Um, I love being inside. Actually, I wasn't. I wasn't too much of an outdoors child. Mm. I was inside by myself with my music. With my what were you inside? Oh, it, it, just... it rains in Ireland. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Who was a role model in your life? Who was a role model? Okay, yeah. I've had a few for sure. But Blind Boy Boat Club. Look him up on Twitter. 
Instagram. Um, listen to his listen to his podcast, Blind Boy Boat Club from Ireland, mm. for sure. The most inspirational man ever. Hundred mm. percent. He he talks about funny things, serious things, sad things, everything. But his perspective on things really influenced. So I think. Yeah. Did you have any childhood pets? When I was uh, <clears throat> when I was young, four, five, six, I had a cat whose name was. Yeah. <laughs> his, name, his, name was, <laughs> his name was Saga, which means a story in Swedish. And then I had two dogs, two German Shepherds, and then um, And then I had a, a husky, he's still alive, a husky called Jake, beautiful husky. Where is the, where is the in, in Ireland. Who's taking care of me? My, uh, my stepdad from Ireland. Oh. Uh, did you meet him when he went there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He, and the animal missed you? And the dog recognized me straight away. Aww. He was like going crazy. Like, yeah. Oh. yeah. Come here. Come here. When you were young, what did you want to be? Uh, I always wanted to be a scientist. Okay. Always a scientist. Uh, no, I think first an astronaut, like you know, kids want to be like an astronaut or like these really, really difficult to get jobs like astronaut or like, you know, whatever. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but I always wanted to be a scientist. I'm not, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> well, like, I mean, the, the, I did a degree, degree in, in music production, okay. but it was a Bachelor of Science. Wow. So technically I'm a musical scientist. Oh. So you have some couple of music? <clears throat> in in some some in, in existence, yeah. but more in progress. Because they would want to listen to your music, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Follow other. Yeah. So you can send me the yeah. link. You you can have one song. One. One teaser. Okay. One teaser. <laughs> what family traditions were important to you? I mean, okay. So I did say that I like to spend my time inside, but so when, no. when I was young, we would always take trips to like the forest. Or um, you know, like nature, things like that. And I would also visit like my granddad and my great auntie, who also lived in like remote areas, rural areas, forests, farms, mm. small villages, things like that. So that was important. What was your favorite childhood memory? That's a good. That's a difficult question. <laughs> There's a lot. A lot. Um, you want to go out? That sticks, one that like sticks out in my mind is. Um, it's kind of the same memory, but my granddad used to always buy me this ice cream. Mm. Ice, when I was like five, six, seven, eight, but he always bought me the same ice cream. I didn't want any other ice cream, just this one. Oh. It happened to be the cheapest one, which is good for him. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> but uh, whenever he would buy me this ice cream, I was always happy. Yeah. What was your favorite childhood possession? My guitar. Oh. Is it between Vietnam? Oh no, that's long gone, long gone. <laughs> what challenges did you experience when you were young? That's also a good question. Um, probably the biggest challenge was um, living in so many different homes. So by the time I was 14, mm. I lived in 11 different homes. Mm. So like moving around and stuff like that, and, like not always being able to have the same friends throughout growing up mm. you know, because you know when you grow up it's difficult to make friends right. and you, you know when you have friends mm. you're, you're solid True. but like you know like, as you're growing and changing like to make new friends all mm. the time like this like mm. that, that can be difficult for sure but mm. now I don't feel like that was you know it's not a problem for me now mm. if I have those things happened mm. as, an, as an, because I'm an adult those things are a benefit mm. that I had to go through that you know so it was difficult at the time but now it's not I don't see it as a difficult thing. Okay. Yeah. So, there are so many... Um, this question can be a little bit sensitive, but should sure. I ask it? You can ask it. Okay. There are so many parents that are no longer together, mm -hmm. and the children might be missing each parent. Mm -hmm. Like, they want to see their parents together. Mm -hmm. But of course, if the relationship is not um, going well, it should go their separate ways. Sure. So, um, what kind of words of encouragement can you give to those parents that are separated right now and they have children with those spouses? Yeah. So, so you mean like children who are growing up yeah, without, growing without, up without the parents. two? Yeah, yeah two maybe parents. they have one yeah. or maybe not even one. Right. They have grandparents. Yes. <clears throat> 
So I believe that like challenges that you face as a child, you know, they can hurt you, but everybody has the power to take that pain and turn it into something good. And you know, because you have gone some gone through something extraordinary, right? Mm. Because you've gone through something that's difficult for you, mm. you can use those experiences to, you know, a encourage oh, no. people around you, you know, support people around you, Go. and B, you know, learn from those experiences when you have a relationship, when you have a family. I mean, I don't have a family, but you know, at least in my relationships, at least you know, with the family that I do have now, mm. you know, like. I mean, like meeting you guys, like you know, like that was so special for me, and like that's you know, that's a powerful moment. And this is a new family, you know, and yeah, difficult times can turn into you know experiences that can be used for good. How do you feel about traveling? Hate it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I feel I feel really comfortable when I'm in like different countries. Yeah. So you I, I feel a bit uncomfortable when I'm in when I'm in like Ireland or Sweden. Mm. What? I, yeah, because I'm like I'm like uh, things are so weird here because I know it. I know, uh -huh, I know these places. Uh -huh. right? I know these places. They're familiar to me, so I'm like <coughs> oh, this place again. <laughs> Whereas if I'm like moving around, traveling different places, meeting new people, like um, I feel comfortable. Okay, yeah. so um, when did you left Vietnam? I, l I moved to Vietnam. When, I mean, when did you left? Well, I, yeah. le I left uh, one month ago. One month a, a ago. A little bit more. And you've been traveling? I've been to. Um, I flew Hanoi, Singapore, Berlin, Spain, UK, Ireland, Italy, Sweden, Kuwait, Dubai. Just within one month, guys. <laughs> Man, this guy is enjoying. <laughs> and what about their food? Was it difficult for you to adapt to their food? Vietnamese food? All these countries you've traveled to, like... So, like, so, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, that's another thing, like, you know, like, if you're, I mean, everybody needs to eat. Right. So you eat. Guys, right. let me tell you something. You, you find things Can that I you cut like. your shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to Ethiopia restaurant. And, uh, it's your first time to eat Ethiopia. Right? never eaten it before in my life. The way Marco dig into the food was quite surprising. We were not on live stream, but if we were on live stream, you guys would have been like, wow. He taught us how to eat with the bread and everything. So for him, it's easier for him to adapt to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's good. Not good though. But, but there are things that you learn when you like... If you move around a lot as a child, if you move around a lot as an adult, mm -hmm. you know, like... Yeah, you learn to, you learn to adapt. And it's, it's easy to adapt, and it's comfortable to adapt, and it's not a problem, you know, like... Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. It's, People it's should chill. not change for you, but you have to adapt to, yeah, yeah. to make everything for When, when in Rome. Yeah. You know, Behave yeah. like Romans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, if you had to watch a documentary, what would you want it to be about? If I had to watch a doc... I watch a lot of documentaries, and I love watching them. Learning is good for you, for sure. Um, I like documentaries about airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're about, astronaut. Uh, about, yeah, astronaut, astronaut, you know what I mean? I like documentaries yeah. about like, <clears throat> about, like um, geography, uh, politics sometimes. But I, I like to learn about the world, you know. Mm. Always interesting. What do you do for fun? I have fun. <laughs> <laughs> no more details. <laughs> what are your hobbies? So my hobbies are, I mean like, 75%, 80% is music, of course, anything music related, listening, making, playing. Um, when I'm with my friends, I like make music too. <laughs> I work in a music studio, so that's a lot of what I do. Um, but yeah, sometimes I, I do a little bit of writing, like creative writing. What kind of writing? Like, um, I wouldn't call it poetry, but it would be like spoken word. Um, <clears throat> it's poetic, but, it, but it's, it's not poetry per mm -hmm. se, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, some, I love I love to just chill out and watch Netflix as well. Oh, we have Netflix. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what what is something you could spend hours doing? Chilling. <laughs> <laughs> what is something you wished you did more often? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like 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 as, as much as much as I do music, I wish I spent even more time on it. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. What is a guilty pleasure you enjoy? Guilty pleasure. A guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, hmm. 
I mean, sometimes I like to, um... A guilty pleasure. Mama, mama, mama. A guilty pleasure that I enjoy doing is, is something that my friend taught me, like, sometimes it's okay to splash out mm. on, like, like a nice, kind of, like, house in the countryside for a day or two, mm. you know, like, treat yourself a little bit, you know. Okay. A, a, a nice, a nice apartment. So we'll stop it for today. When you visit next time, the questions are much. Yeah, so we got through 15 questions. At least we we. 145 left. After go. after editing this video, yeah. we should have like 18 minutes maximum, and it's good. It's oh okay. yeah, that's good. Anything yeah. about 10 is perfect. Yes, yes. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with Marco. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and share this video. And keep bringing the comments. Positive ones. Positive. Positive. So before we end the live stream, do you have anything to tell my amazing viewers? Um, do you have anything to say? Um, Are you going to miss us? <laughs> oh, for sure. Going well, back to reality. Yeah, because yeah, this, this, like, this is like utopia right now. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, in a bubble of utopia. Aww. But reality is cool too. I don't mm. mind reality. But for sure I'll miss you guys. Don't worry, we'll keep meeting each other by yeah. the grace of God. 100%. Yeah. Gosh. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs>